bounds. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This is a tutorial on Virtual DJ 8 Part 2. As we did in the um, Part 1 of this tutorial session, we covered the Auto Mix section on the uh, Virtual DJ 8 which is in the right hand side of the side list section here as you can see my mouse pointer is whittling about there um, so what we'll do is quickly go over what we did I've got a track playing there uh, so we'll stop that for a minute in the auto mix section here we'll click on that um, as you can see there are several tracks already in there uh, we did cover this in the last video but all you need to do is right click on these uh, and if you just want to play a track Say somebody asked you for Ice Ice Baby, for instance, I wanted to put that up to the top there. You could just simply drag and drop it where you need to play it. Um, you can also edit these songs in situ with this list here. All you do is right click your mouse. Now I do use a mouse on the night as well, uh, as well as the DJ controller. The DJ, DJ controller is really good, but when, when you're having to whiz around your screen like that with your mouse uh, it's a lot easier with the mouse so <clears throat> all you do is right click on the track there and you can go into the, the editors as I, I went into on the, the other video uh, for instance like the POI editor there so you can you can do what you want there with that um, also you can right click underneath the track uh, which will bring it in uh, where you need it to if you need to do it as it's going to be played uh, before the other track finishes so yeah that's the auto mix function like i say all you do is you right uh, click on that button there and you can start auto mix there you can turn it off start it and as you do that the uh, track appears and disappears there so yeah there's all sorts you can do with this you've got auto mix editor here so say if you want to listen to the track that's above it all you do is click on the headphones that's next to that and through your DJ control like your headphones will work so if you click the middle one for instance that will play this section here oh, I've just messed it up there hang on there we go that will play that blue thing there where it's fading in and out so you can edit that if you need to there um, as you can see in this left hand section here it's got Tiffany and Ice Ice Baby them are the two tracks so the top one is Tiffany and the one, bottom, one at the bottom is Vanilla Ice so if you wanted to listen to Vanilla Ice you'd click the third one at the bottom there and it would play through your headphones simply uh, quite simple and easy to use you can go to the next two tracks if you want um, I do have a karaoke track in there just so you know so that's why it's skipped it um, but yeah, same similar sort of thing again. You can edit the um, the fade in and fade out points there if you need to. And just remember that Virtual DJ will remember this when you close the box down. So it's, it's a good idea to make sure you get it right. But you're actually kind of mixing the tracks before you put them on. And using the auto play function means you can do this ahead of time and you can just basically if you need to go out or you need to go to the toilet or you just want a break or, or whatever for whatever reason you need to leave your DJ booth and you can just set that auto mix going on the night or you can just pre-prepare something the night before and just set it going and it will just do its job for you while you're having your break it's a really good idea now you couldn't do a lot of that on virtual DJ 7 you literally had to probably pre um, pre-do it on the night before and uh, auto, not auto DJ virtual DJ remembers where you've edited the track so basically you have to use tracks that you intend to use um, you may have two of each track or two or three of each track the same ones uh, if you put the wrong one in it will just basically play that track that's not edited so it will be an unedited track uh, before you play it and it will just do what it normally would how it would normally play so it may have a long intro and it may not have the point where you need to drop it in so you need to remember that when you're doing this um, 
preparation is everything in DJing to be honest uh, this is not to take away um, what you do as a DJ with mixing and mixing on the night as well and bringing tracks in professionally um, this is just like I said so you can have a break or something in on the evening so again we're just basically touching on the auto mix section here if you want to bring a track in straight away you can just click mix now like that and it will just bring it in straight away um, now you see it's changed over and as you can see the next one is a karaoke track so you don't necessarily have to put the karaoke tracks in to the auto mix but you can do it if you like there is a karaoke section here and as you can see there's the karaoke track there now you can do the same thing with the karaoke tracks you can add them to the auto mix you can play next there or you can mix now or you can load it on deck one or deck two so if say if we want to put it on deck two it appears in deck two so you can actually just mix it by yourself by using the crossfader here um, that will just let you mix that track manually if you need to um, the videos there in that section if you go to the middle section there's a tab there that says show video mixer panel so you can basically use it like a transition effect to go from one to the other so if I click on play there it will start playing there and as you can see in the middle there it's starting to load well it's already loaded the track up obviously so that's now playing now obviously on the night you would have that on a TV screen somewhere and once you plug your TV screen into virtual DJ it should know that you've done that um, it has got a lot of um, device software already programmed into it which includes your DJ controller as well um, depending on what make you're using depending on um, how it's set up as well um, hopefully virtual DJ will detect what you've plugged in and it should work now you could leave me a comment down below saying oh mine doesn't work mine doesn't work I may not know why it doesn't work um, I do know on virtual DJ 7 you had to add like files into the, the software programming so that it would um, use them as drivers so that the like on the new Mark Mix Track Pro um, you had to add, add that into um, the files on virtual DJ 7 so that you could use that um, now I do believe you don't have to do that on Virtual DJ, but I will get into that on another video which is adding devices to Virtual DJ 8. Um, so like I said, if you're doing karaoke, then obviously you'll need an external screen and uh, you'll be able to play your karaoke tracks through the karaoke playlist there as well. As well as you can add them to the auto mix. So say if you've got um, just normal tracks playing and somebody's requested the karaoke you might not be doing a lot of karaoke you can just move the tracks up and down like so um, and say right well we'll do it after this track and, and you announce the name and if, hopefully if they're still in the room um, you can get them up karaoke and singing I don't do karaoke anymore um, simply because we was only getting like one or two gigs a year for it and I've not really updated the karaoke tracks as much as I should do and I can't see pointing updating them if I'm not doing it regularly. I did kind of like going to weddings and doing parties more rather than doing pub gigs. Um, but as it happens at the moment, we are doing a lot more pubs. So um, we did do a karaoke once in a pub. But I did say to him, you need a karaoke host really for doing this. Um, someone that can actually sing uh, a little bit. Um, that's always a good idea if you're going to do karaoke rather than me. Um, I'm, a, I'm a musical train wreck when it comes to singing. Um, I will get up and sing on karaoke, but I won't host, host it now, so I don't do karaoke uh, for, for them reasons. So, getting back to this side list, I'm digressing a little bit there. Um, you do have a sampler section here, which you can have like the instruments, the kick, the hi-hat and the synth there. So all you do is basically click on them. Now if you're using a DJ controller, you can assign these buttons to the buttons on the DJ controller. If you go over to the left hand side where the hot cues is, uh, you just go down. See if we can find it, click on sampler. So there you can see the buttons have 
already been added there so all you need to do on your DJ controller is hit them and they will start working I'm just using the mouse to demonstrate and as you can see they, they come up now you can actually add your own um, sound effects to these spare pads here like there's some blank ones here so all you need to do is, is you basically just use pad layout there and you can you can actually add your own um, sound effects to them what whatever you like you can do a DJ drop if you want and you can just add it to a button and then you can just play a DJ drop in between a track or something um, so yeah it's quite a good innovative thing you can add, and because they're there you can see what you're doing as well now if you go to the top you'll see it says instruments because obviously them are instruments if you right click there you've got um, video and scratch so these are just again effects so if you click on that it will play them as well as you see it's back up there in the sampler so you can just do that now if you don't want these to be playing anymore you just click on them like that they'll stop playing and they'll disappear now so here you've got some sound effects now I do think on virtual DJ 7 they were up here in the effects box here there you can see this the effects still there and there's also settings as well so a settings box will come up there and it'll give you the length um, how long it will will go for so you can you could do a bit of editing there if you wish but uh, if I do that click on it that's the backspin there it's just done a backspin and then gone off so that works quite well but again you've got these effects things here on your assigned buttons once again these will be on your DJ controller if you're using a DJ controller as well so you've got the air horn, the siren, the explosion, the applause and the laugh there so I mean depending on what you want to do uh, you can use some of them if you like you can actually use them on your video if you're editing a video as well and again you've got <coughs> some some these this is just sack so this 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 shots hands up and I, again on virtual dj7 they were up here uh, i don't think you had all them but again you can also add more if you want um so so you can actually basically i think you can buy some pre-recorded things as well for for this and then all you do is add them to the buttons uh so yeah you, you've got all sorts you can do with these, I don't know, hang on, oh there you go, yeah, that's how you do it, just basically, like I've just, um, drag and drop to track straight into one of the buttons there, so it's turned up there, so I could actually play that if I wanted, um, hang on, yeah, yeah you could just do that if you want to drag and drop it straight onto the buttons, and uh, obviously use them, on your, your DJ controller then so yeah this is virtual DJ 8 and <clears throat> so you've got quite a lot of functions on these bottom here now where on virtual DJ 7 the side list would have been underneath your, your middle playlist there and you would have had your auto mix at the right hand side it didn't have as much information as well I mean if you just dragging that across there it has the the song information there for the highlighted track again if you go over to the left hand side and choose say the 80s music file again i have added that as a file there and all you simply do if you want to add your 80s music file there is you just click on that button there down in the right hand corner and it just says add shortcut to 80s music all you do is click that and this file will appear there which enables you to go back to your files over here so if i click on 23rd of june there and um, this is a playlist for 23rd of june and then click down here and shortcut the file will appear there so that's the 23rd of june and uh, you can just pick and choose any of the files from there um, you can also add them to your auto mix if you need to do that you can mix it now you can edit the tracks as well it's just the same as the other 
sections of the side list. So it gives you a lot of scope for editing your, your tracks on the night or if you want to pre-do it before you, you gig you can simply just do this and it does make it a little bit easier than having to scroll through all your files because I do have quite a lot of files there and these have been compiled over years and years of DJing um, people have asked me for some of the weirdest music ever I do actually have um, a Bangra file there this is for Indian music in, in this section somewhere and all that is is Bangra music there we go Bangra music and for whatever reason that's not come up on virtual DJ um, well there we go so there's like Bollywood songs in there now at a, like our culture kind of thing we probably wouldn't actually know any of those songs so it is there if people want it obviously I've probably not got everything there is one song that um, most people know and that's Punjab MC that's not come up there uh, we'll find it anyway it's one of the things with virtual DJs is they don't always come up anyway there is a song that it's on one of the now albums um, it's called Punjab MC uh, I can't pronounce the title of it but quite a lot of people know that and quite a lot of people get up and dance to it as well it's quite amazing um, when you're crossing the cultural boundaries of music so yeah I think this just about covers part two of virtual DJ and setting up playlists and using your files and also using a little bit of karaoke if you do karaoke probably do another video on karaoke because there's a few things you can do on virtual DJ that um, you can you can use transitions and that for karaoke as well which help on the evening if you're doing karaoke um, like I said I don't do it anymore so I just do straight forward DJ so anyway I hope you enjoyed this video don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel um, check out my other videos and uh, check out for any more of these virtual DJ tutorials that I'm doing at the moment and uh, we'll get into some more stuff a bit later on these are just the basics for beginners um, it will help you out if you've just started using virtual DJ um, so yeah this is a great piece of software as well for, for DJs and virtual uh, not virtual DJs because obviously that's what it is but um, yeah if you just started out DJing these will probably help you immensely so like I said don't forget to like subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell and I'll catch you guys again in another video very soon